this. Today we will talk about the Asherman syndrome. What is Asherman syndrome? It is an acquired condition where scar tissue or adhesions form inside the uterus. The scar tissue can build up, decreasing the amount of open space inside the uterus. Asherman syndrome is also known as the Fritz syndrome. What is the etiology behind Asherman syndrome? The basic underlying pathology is trauma to the basal layer of uterus and its failure to regenerate. What are the causative factors of Asherman syndrome? The causative factors include first of all trauma like excessive curettage at the time of DNC or previous surgery like cesarean section, polypectomy or myomectomy. Another causative factor is infection which may be in the form of genital tuberculosis or schistosomiasis. Now, with what symptoms does a patient with Asherman syndrome presents? The presenting symptoms include amenorrhea, pain due to trapped blood, retrograde menstruation, recurrent miscarriages and infertility. How to diagnose the Asherman syndrome? The diagnostic modalities include hysteroscopy, which is a gold standard test, sonohysterography, hysterosalpingography and MRI. How to prevent the Asherman syndrome? That is by avoiding the intrauterine instrumentation means preferably use the medical methods for termination of pregnancy like mesoprostol. Secondly, when we do early detection of miscarriage and immediate evacuation followed by fetal demise, in that way we can reduce the incidence of adhesion formation. There is no evidence of decreased risk with MVA. How to manage a case of Asherman syndrome? That is first of all by hysteroscopic guided adhesiolysis, which is done with or without conjunction of laparoscopy as a protective measure against the uterine perforation. Another line of management is preventing the recurrence of Asherman syndrome and that is by the use of mechanical barriers like first of all the Foley's catheter, secondly saline filled balloon intrauterine stent and thirdly by the gel barrier like hyalo balloon. And the aim of all these is to maintain the opposing wall apart during the heating. Third line of management is antibiotic prophylaxis. Next line of management is sequential use of hormone replacement therapy. And the hormone replacement therapy stimulate endometrial growth and prevent opposing walls from fusing together. How to do follow up after treating a patient with Asherman syndrome? That is done by hysteroscopy, secondly by HST, and thirdly by saline hysterosalpingography. What are the possible complications of Asherman syndrome? If the Asherman syndrome is left untreated, Extensive obliteration of uterine cavity and fallopian tubes result from it. And in such cases, if a patient desires fertility, we can tell her about the option of IVF or surrogacy or adoption. Another complication is endometriosis and hematometrial formation because there is retrograde menstruation associated with Asherman syndrome as I told you before. Another complication is repeated miscarriages. Now, sometimes patients with Asherman syndrome get pregnant. So, what are the possible complications in such cases? If these patients get pregnant, they are at risk of, first of all, morbidly adherent placenta like placenta accreta. Secondly, there is increased risk of uterine rupture. Thirdly, the second trimester Miscarriages are also common in these patients due to cervical insufficiency or premature delivery in these patients. So it's a good practice to have a detailed discussion with the patient about all these complications. Thank you so much. That was all about the Asherman syndrome. Subscribe on Obsan Gaini channel. Allah Hafiz.